Hello and welcome to CETA's Utility Assistance Programs. In this video, we'll take you through the process of applying for gas and electric bill assistance online. Before you begin, make sure you have the following information handy. Social security numbers for all household members. Monthly gross income for all household members that are 18 or older. And your utility bills for your heating and or electric account. If you are facing disconnection, or if any individuals in your household do not have an SSN or ITIN, contact one of the many partner intake sites for assistance. The online application won't suit your needs. Let's get started. From cedaorgnet slash bills, scroll down to find the green Save Time Apply Online button. This will bring up a series of pop-up boxes containing brief, informational questions about the online application. Please read and answer carefully and honestly. Now we've reached the online application form. Under the section marked Assistance Being Requested, select all categories that apply. Scroll down to Information on Household Members, Write in the full first and last name of the head of household. The head of household can be any adult household member listed on the application. Next, write out the full nine-digit social security number or individual tax identification number for the head of household. This field is vital as an application cannot be created without the full nine-digit social security number or individual tax identification number. Next, Type in the date of birth, phone number, email, gender, race, ethnicity, and primary language for the head of household. Use an email address you check regularly. You'll receive important follow-up information by email, such as your application ID and instructions for completing your application. For income sources, use the drop-down menu to select All Income Sources for the head of household. For each income source you select, a corresponding box will appear for you to enter the income amount. The income amount should be the gross income for the past 30 days. Do not enter net income, nor hourly, weekly, or annual income. You will now repeat this step for each person currently living in the household at the time of filling out this application. If there are more than six people in the household, you can write their information in the Notes and Comments section at the bottom of this form. Next, you're going to write in the service address. This is the address at which you need assistance with utility bills. This should include the street number and name. Some web browsers use autofill, so make sure to double check that the information in each box matches with the label above it. If your mailing address is different from your service address, Put a check in the box next to Mailing Address and fill in the fields the same way you did for Service Address. Under Household Information, simply use the drop-down menu to select the ownership status of your household. For this example, we'll select Rent Not Subsidized. When you select Rent, you also need to write in the amount you pay in rent each month, whether gas and electric utilities are included in your rent and your dwelling type. For dwelling type, you just need to know how many units are in the building. Now, you'll need to enter information for the heating and or electric utilities you are applying for assistance. The primary utility will cover your heating bill. The secondary utility will cover your electric bill as long as it is provided by a different company than the primary utility. We offer assistance for the three major heat and electric vendors in Cook County, NICOR, People's Gas, and ComEd. If you are a renter and utilities are paid by the landlord, you can simply select the other option under the first question. Lastly, in the notes and comments section, you can leave any message about your application, such as a message regarding a disconnection status, your last name changing due to marriage, or adding additional household member information. Once you've reached the end, double check all your information to make sure it's accurate, then click the blue Submit button at the bottom of the form. This will bring you back to CETA's website 
where you will come to the confirmation page. You'll soon receive an email from the state of Illinois thanking you for your application. However, you will not receive your application ID number until three to four weeks later. CETA will send you your application ID number in a letter in the mail, as well as to the valid email address you provided. So keep an eye out for both messages. Both the letter and the email will give you detailed instructions on how to submit your documents to finish your application. Remember, your application is not finished until you have completed submitting your documents. Thank you for joining us, and if you have any questions, feel free to re-watch this video, or if you would like assistance completing an application, find a partner site at cedaorg.net slash sites to apply over the phone or in person.